Imagine walking up to your loved one's gravesite to pay respects only to find flowers and treasured items you put there gone. The discovery fueling sadness and anger for families visiting a Hillsborough County Cemetery. And all new at six, ABC Action News reporter Kara Moshek explains their concerns and the reason for the cleanup. At first glance, gravesites inside Hillsborough Memorial Gardens look pretty normal, but in the past couple weeks, families have noticed some changes. There was a big pile of people's momentum stacked up in a corner. Brutus Hill's mother and grandmother are buried here. At first, she didn't think anything from their headstones was missing, but later realized a special pink vase was gone. It's very hurtful because they're special memories to us. There's just hardly any words to describe how it feels to see things taken off of your loved one's grave. The cemeteries had this small sign posted out front for years limiting what kinds of displays graves can have. But Rudisell says until last week, those rules have never been strictly enforced. She comes here at least twice a week to visit her mom and only saw these extra cleanup signs posted days after the dump pile had been started. To me, that is sacred ground that should not be touched. A cemetery spokesperson issued a statement saying they empathize with families who want to add personal items to grave sites, but say, quote, certain grave decorations may present safety hazards to grounds workers and visitors to the park. But that's little comfort to family members like James Wilson, who says a flag and custom holder was ripped from his father-in-law's grave and claims a maintenance worker told him to look for it in a dumpster. He served 25 years in the United States Air Force. Then to come out and take an American flag off, this disgraceful to me. Families say they'll follow any new rules the cemetery is now enforcing, but just wish they would have been given better notice before their belongings were uprooted. And Brandon Karamashik, ABC Action News.